I was 36 weeks pregnant with my fourth baby and I was just getting up to brush my teeth to go to bed when um, I remember feeling really dizzy and I just told my husband, I feel dizzy and that's the last thing I remember. She was not breathing. I could tell that she wasn't breathing. So I checked for a pulse and she didn't have one. I was on call, it was about one in the morning and I get a phone call from the emergency room telling me about a woman who is 38 weeks pregnant approximately who was down in the field. Brenda Flake who knocked on my door, she's a hospitalist here. And she asked for my assistance in what was going to be a, a, a post-mortem cesarean section. The presumption was that they're bringing in a woman who died. Becky had had a heart attack, or what was thought to be a heart attack. Her husband, John, had started CPR, which I really admire what he did because he was the one that saved her life. On my arrival in the emergency room, I was confronted with a, a pregnant patient who had just suffered a cardiac arrest, a really kind of somewhat of a nightmare situation. Um, for a cardiologist because at this point you're dealing with not just one patient but two patients. They gave me kind of a status update and you know she was stabilized at that point but they wanted to do an emergency c-section which of course I said yes let's get this baby out and make sure this baby's okay. When I first saw Ryan he was not moving he was he was almost lifeless. At the time of the delivery, the baby was, was really depressed and had low APGAR scores, and, and I was really concerned. So I kept a, a small segment of the umbilical cord and looked for the oxygen levels in it, and it was surprisingly good. And what that obviously resulted in is this wonderful result where uh, the mother and baby survived intact and are doing well. The next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. I was somehow aware that I had had my baby and that everything was was okay, you know, I was all right. I felt pretty sad after I had Ryan and I couldn't, didn't get the chocolate cake because that's what I always got after all the other, my other deliveries. I <laughs> got a great meal after it and had this really good chocolate cake. And I was like, I didn't get to have that chocolate cake this time. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate Evergreen and the, the people that worked so hard to take care of my family. You know, I was here around the clock for days. He tells me about how much help he got, the nurses, everybody who told him where to go, what to do, um, helped him through it, and I'm so grateful for that because um, he wasn't alone. He had a whole team of people helping him out. It's absolutely remarkable that someone who came that close to dying is just so perfect now. It's a really a testament, I think, to kind of the, like, the selflessness of the physicians who were able to shake themselves out of bed in the middle of the night and come in and uh, the support staff and the nursing, everybody. It was, uh, it was one of the most challenging and I think one of the single most rewarding experiences in my professional career.